Hello boys and girls. This is a very brief video. I want to commend Betty Bowers, Mrs. Betty Bowers, on her amazing insight. Check this out. This is her most recent video called The War on Christmas. See? Santa. Everybody loves Santa. Now watch what happens to the letters. <gasps> oh! Isn't that terrifying? Satan. Now think about that for a moment. The secular Jesus is Santa and the same letters turned around mean Satan. And Satan has so many things in common with Santa. Satan has red, wears red, doesn't he? And Santa has reindeer that have horns. Horns? And Satan has horns? Is that a coincidence? Now I'd like to show you a recent picture. This is from 2009 of Satan with the pitchfork. This, this is Satan. He actually had a guest appearance in somebody's bonfire. And I just want to show you, you know, point out how the similarities between uh, S Satan in this picture and in Jolly Saint Nick. You see the see the, the the big furry hat right there and you know it comes up it comes down into a tassel just like the the Christmassy hat that Saint or Santa wears and if this is what I think it is there's a beard right there yes and uh, yes I think this could either be Satan, um, or it could be Santa on fire, but the similarities are similar, so similar. I think it's beyond a coincidence. So this is a modern picture of Satan, and uh, I think Satan and Santa are actually the same person. And now this is a more recent picture. Okay, actually we have several pictures of the more recent uh, Santa face and again you see the similarities between this face and this face right here see the similarities so what does this tell us about the innocent the supposedly benign Christmas jolly Saint Nick that everybody everybody thinks is so wonderful and let's add to the fact that he is a he loves children, and he has Saint in front of his name, Saint Nicholas. And what do we know about the Catholic saints, you know, the priests? It's a little bit too strange. Okay, so anyway, I just think that Betty Bowers is on to something here, and I think that uh, the Santa is actually Satan and I think that parents should not teach their children about Santa because it gives Satan power I think the reason we see so much evil in the world is because we've given Sa Santa slash Satan so much power that he could actually appear in people's bonfires now so um, just word of caution, you know, you shouldn't mess around with these things. And I don't think that we should be talking about Santa Claus. I think we need to get rid of that. From I think we should burn all the books that mention Santa Claus and all the Christmas specials that we let our children watch. We should definitely burn those too. And uh, this bonfire picture is really scary. Um, really scary. So... Uh, you know, I think that that tells you something right there, that, that Satan is visiting people in their fires. And, I mean, it's fires, it's fires yesterday, and who knows what, what it's going to be. You know, um, it could be your little kid's snow cone that Satan's going to appear in. So be careful, and, you know, really, the whole Santa thing, there's so many other things that we could put. You know, if you have to have a... Um, you have to teach your children um, to have magical thinking and um, you know you think it's cute maybe Frosty the snowman maybe you know I can't see right off the top of my head any any satanic 
symbolism and there's no you know I mean how harmless how 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 harmful would a snowman be think about it so anyway just a word of warning for all you parents who care about your children and watch for those fires you know I would definitely this is a wood fire I would start using get the gas fires from now on because I don't think Satan probably knows what to do with gas that's a little probably ahead of his time so anyway thanks for listening again bye bye